Well, hello everybody and welcome to um, COM 2136 Group Communication. Group communication is how we communicate in groups. <clears throat> and groups can be defined as, as something more than two. Um, some people say it's, it's more than two but less than eight. Some people say it's more than two and less than 12 and I've heard up to 25. Um, you know, if the academics can't agree on, on what a group size is, uh, I think it's difficult for us to. But I think we can all realize that um, groups are more than one person, or more than two people. And you, you have to allow everybody in the group to communicate. And one of the most important skills you can have in group communication is listening. So we'll be talking about that later on. How's this class going to work? I've already received emails from some students saying, how's this class going to work? When will we meet? Yada, yada, yada. Well, I've taught this class online many times before. And the difference is, uh, in many cases in the past, students could go get together in groups. Uh, physically, a symbol mixed up happened. I have taught it since the, the pandemic started, and students were required to isolate, self-isolation, social distancing, and all that good stuff. And so, now we will not be requiring you to get together physically, uh, but you will be required to use social media and, and what other means that you have. Uh, and, and, you know, there's, there's so many different formats out there. There's Skype and Zoom and uh, TikTok and, and Snapchat and, and Facebook and LinkedIn. And, and there's all kinds of stuff that you can do to meet. Uh, I'm going to let you choose as a group what is the most convenient for you. Um, it's an asynchronous class, except for your group presentation, which means we do not have a set meeting time every week. Uh, like I said, I've taught this online before, and so it's never been a problem. I've never had an asynchronous, I mean, a synchronous class with this, requiring students to be at a certain place at a certain time. Like I said, with the exception of your group presentation. So what's going to happen is I will post no later Monday, no later than midnight, a lecture recording like this in my great studio. You like my studio? My uh, I'm renovating my basement right now, so um, you see a lot of clutter in my office. Hopefully, as time goes on, you will see a um, improvements in my office and my um, humble abode here. But I will record a lecture or two um, and post them every week. I will also post my lecture notes and sometimes I'll post PowerPoints. You are required to read, view the lectures. You are required to read the, the lecture notes and or PowerPoints. And you are required to read um, the discussion that I post every week. And this is the book we're going to use. There we go. Is that way some? Okay. <clears throat> so you should read the chapter. You should watch the video. You should look at the lecture notes, and you should then respond to the posting that I make in the discussion board. Now your response has to be thoughtful, and it is due by Thursday each week. And then by Sunday of each week, you are required to post to two peer postings. So your posting is worth 50 points and your peers, your, your responses to your peers are worth 25 points each. Now if you post on a peers, wow, I didn't know that, or that's neat. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. Me too. Those don't count as postings. I want a thoughtful response to their posting. So I got to do a lot of posting reading to, to make sure that you have thoughtful responses. And that is going to be 20% of your grade. You will have a midterm, multiple choice and or true false. Open book is 20%, a final, multiple choice and or true false. 20% uh, open book. Here's my thought process on, on exams, okay? I hated studying for an exam 
and going through chapter whatever and trying to figure out what I thought was important to the professor and memorizing it. And, and, and then as soon as the test was over, dumping my memory so I have room for another one. Um, or getting an exam, you know, memorizing all these things that I thought was important and getting an exam and, and to read the first question, it's like, where did that come from? I, I, I don't remember that. Did you give me the right test? And it destroys your self-confidence. So I don't want you to try to memorize the book or memorize my lectures. What I want you to do is read the chapters, watch the movies or the videos, and prepare yourself for an exam. Now, it'll be a timed exam, but it's open book. Because in the real world, let's be honest, in the real world, if you don't know the answer, your boss expects you to go find the answer. And that's what I want you to do. You know, and trust me, open book exams are not the easiest in the world, but I don't intend it to be. I want you to answer the ones that you know, and then look up the ones that you don't know and find the answers. Now, it's not collaborative. It's not a group exercise. Although this is a group comm class, the exams are not group exams. So don't think that we're going to get together as a group and do this. Your group project is worth 40% of your grade. 10% of that grade is developed from peer evaluations. You will be required to evaluate each person on your team. <coughs> There's um, six questions. One is, you know, would you work with them again? That's no points. But the other ones are on a Likert type scale. Um, the four of them on a Likert type scale. Did this person, this person, um, completed their work on time. You know, well, I always hated being in a group when, when you had to wait on somebody to turn their stuff in because I always waited to the last minute. And um, so in this process, you will evaluate your peers. Now, if you give everybody in your team a 10, I will take 10 points off your score, regardless of what they gave you. And the reason, because nobody's perfect. Nobody gets everything right. Now, you can give, you know, two nines and two tens, or you can give three tens and a nine, or you can give some eights and nines and tens, but be honest in your evaluation. Nobody's perfect. And if you give everybody a perfect score, I will deduct 10 points from your score strictly because you didn't do it right. I know everybody on your team is not going to be perfect. Now, you can give one person all 10s if they did everything super, but don't give everybody all 10s. I want you to be honest in your peer evaluations. Uh, if you need to talk to me, email me, and I will reply within 24 hours. Occasionally, I might reply, call me, here's my number, because whatever you email me, we need to talk more in depth about than we can do on an email. I'll probably get my, put my email, my, my phone number on the syllabus, but if I do, don't just call me randomly. Email me first because I don't know where I'm going to be or what I'm going to be doing. I might have uh, a meeting going on. I might be doing something else. So it's something I'd like to schedule. Now, besides phones, we can do Skype or Zoom. Uh, we can have conversations all kinds of different ways. My objective is to make sure you folks understand this and you get it right. Now, your group presentation will be scheduled, I believe, the last week or the week prior to Thanksgiving break. Uh, it will be a Zoom meeting. I will send out a list of times that I'm available. You get with your group. <laughs> you all come up with a date and time that you can all be there. And to let me know what it is, and I'll set the Zoom meeting up, and I'll send out the link. So all you have to do is click on it, and you join me, and you do your group presentation via Zoom. In the group presentation, you're required to have a PowerPoint. And the um, everybody needs to do some, some talking. Now, something that's very important to understand in groups, if somebody volunteers to create the PowerPoint, Please vet them. If you don't know what that means, it means make sure they know what they're doing. Uh, 
I remember one class, it wasn't one I taught, but a group of students divvied out the work. And, you know, some did PowerPoint, some did the write-up, some did this. And two of them said, we'll do the presentation. And everybody else didn't like public speaking. They said, okay, you can do it, you can do it. And they got a D. Because the two people that volunteered to do the speaking had no clue what they were supposed to be doing. Now, part of the problem was they got it the day before. And, and you can't do that. You have to have some prior knowledge to the stuff. I, I, I look at this and say, you know, have, have y'all ever watched American Idol? The older ones, you know, where the people thought they could sing and they couldn't? Don't make your grade be dependent upon somebody that thinks they can do something and they can't. Now, you're going to have probably a couple of alpha type people in your group that want to control everything. Uh, if you don't have your PowerPoint in, portion of the PowerPoint in on time, they are going to do it for you. Because, you know, they have, i got to get an A, i got to get an A, i got to get an A. And you have other people that says, C's get degrees. Um, I'm not saying one person's right, one person's wrong. I'm just saying as a group, you can't let everybody down because you feel differently than the rest of the group does. And you can't drive the group uh, because you feel differently. If you try to drive the group, you will probably be ostracized. So that basically is the class in a nutshell. There will be more to come Monday when class is open. But I wanted to give you a quick introduction. Say hi, I'm Dr. Vernon Humphrey. And welcome to GroupCom 2136. Once again, I've done this online many times. I've done it online after the pandemic started. And is not that difficult. The most difficult portion of this class is for you as a group to come together, but that happens if it's in class or if it's online. Okay, I look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great day.